What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub and then be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Katsu, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. All right, so I received another channeling. It's 1.22 a.m., 12.11.2022. Hope, hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channel message I received was, there's about to be very, okay, so we're 12.11, right? So I heard there's about to be very significant holiday parties, toxic holiday parties, um, toxic family. I heard toxic family holiday parties, December 24th and December 26th. So I'm assuming this year, 2022. So December 24th is a little less than two weeks away. So December 26th is like about two and a half weeks away approximately. Okay. So December 24th and December 26th, I'm assuming this year, 2022. Um, I heard... Um, there's plans being made to attend these parties. However, they're not going to go the way these people think they're going to go. I heard uh, there's about there will be many detours. Many things are going to happen. People are actually not going to show up because there's going. I heard roadblocks, um, delays, and I heard somebody's going to run out of gas. Uh, so somebody's going to run out of gas. It's going to be some kind of blockages, delays. I wonder if there's going to be like police blockages, like police things. What are those called? The barriers where you have to show your insurance and um, ID. And I, I didn't hear there was going to be one of those, but that's what I think of, like with the roadblock. But it could be some other kind of roadblock. You know, they put them up like Fourth of July and sometimes Christmas with the drunk drivers and all that. So I wonder if it's something like that. Um but it may not be. It just may just be a roadblock. Um, um, and somebody's going to run out of gas. Um, and someone is not going to come because they're afraid the other parent will take them to the court of law. And they will. Okay? And I just heard that one. Someone's afraid. And someone is actually not going to come because they're afraid the other parent, I heard, will take them to the court of law. If they find out, and I heard they will. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, some kind of toxic holiday family gatherings. Somebody's not going to come because they're afraid the other. I don't know why. Okay, they're afraid the other parent's going to take them, take them to the court of law. So, it has to be this person's family. It is. It is. That's confirmation. It is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? Ew. So somebody wants to come to somebody else's holiday gathering with the parent, other parent, but it's their family? Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Yeah. I mean, what? When you divorce or you separate out of a family, aren't you supposed to separate out of the entire damn family? I mean, I'm just saying, that's what I'm doing. Um, I've been married one time, divorced one time. Do I hang out with my ex-in-laws? Hell no, I don't. Do I hang out with my ex-sister-in-law? Hell no, I don't. The only time I ever did was for the kids. And that's just the damn truth. Would I ever want to hang out with them on a personal level? Hell fucking no, I wouldn't. That's weird as hell. So I heard somebody's going to... um. Yeah, so somebody wants to basically, they got invited or they're about to get invited to the ex's toxic family's holiday function, either on the 24th or the 26th. But I heard they're not going to go because they're afraid the, other, the party's going to take the court of law. And I heard they will. Well, hell, if it was me, I would. And that's just true. Exes are exes for reasons. Ex-in-laws and ex-families, ex for a reason. And that's just the truth. That's weird as hell. But somebody's going to uh, run out of gas and there's going to be some kind of blockages and road delays and whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. 
And someone is going to find their partner cheating on them on one of these days. And it's going to cause a huge, 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 huge chaos. So bad, they are not going to leave the house. Plans change. Oh, my God. Well, I heard these were toxic holiday gatherings. So these aren't healthy and copacetic environments to bring anybody to, it doesn't sound like, anyway. So... Sounds like it's a, a, a bullet box, and that's just the truth. Um, if one of you guys is one of the ones invited to this hot mess ass expresses, and you don't end up making it, just saying, just saying. Now, the ones that are about to find your partner cheating, I'm so sorry about that. That's why I love the hashtag singles of Pringle life with no legally married bonds. Because I don't ever want to be married ever a day in my life again. Ever, 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 ever. And cheating's the reason why. And that's just the truth. <laughs> um, because you spend all your time, effort, and loyalty to a person, and they stab you in the back about 80 million times. Yeah, hell no. I'm not down for that. And that's just the truth. So, one of these people about to get invited to one of these things on either the 24th or 26th, they're going to find their partner cheating on them. It sounds like in their home or somebody else's home. It's going to halt it and... They, um, they're not going to go. I heard they're not even going to leave the house. So, for some, I feel you might get invited to these toxic holiday gatherings. Now, whether you go or you don't go, that's your free will choice. Or whether you attempt to go and you get blocked. Um, the ones that end up getting blocked, it's going to be divine intervention for a reason. The ones that end up getting blocked, it's going to be divine intervention for a reason. So, I feel for some of my collective, you're about to get invited to these. Whether it's your toxic holiday family gathering or another family's toxic holiday gathering. But for the ones that don't end up making it, however you don't make it, whether you run out of gas, there's a roadblock, a delay, or uh, or uh, uh, you find your partner cheating or whatever, 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 uh, just know it's divine intervention. It's divine intervention and... Um, you were basically were not meant to go. Um, you weren't meant to be there. Be glad you're not going to be there. Be glad you're not going to be there is what I heard. Be glad you're not going to be there. Well, yeah, I, I should say so. Um, because this is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> just saying, just saying. And a water sign, feminine, and an earth sign, masculine. The earth sign, masculine, is a officer of the law. And a water sign, feminine, they are married. They will announce their divorce on one of these days. For one, you're going to be around when they announce this divorce. Both Caucasian. Blonde hair and brown hair are significant. Oh, okay. So, okay, so it sounds like this couple's going to make it to one of these, either on the 24th or the 26th. They're both white. One is, the masculine is a police officer. The femme is married to him. The femme's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, and hemorrhage for charts. He is the masculine officer of the law. He's an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But, um, and one of them has blonde hair, and one has brown hair, I hope. But, I heard basically this couple, married couple, legally married couple, I heard at one of these gatherings, either on December 24th or December 26th, I think of this year, I heard it's going to announce their divorce. They're going to announce their divorce at one of these gatherings, toxic family gatherings. So I think one of, one of you guys that watch my channel and you're about to watch it, I think you're about to be around, like actually physically around when this couple announces their divorce. Whoa, he's a, they're both white. He's a masculine officer of the law. She is legally married to him right now. Um, and one has blonde hair, one has brown hair. They're both white. So you plug it in how it resonates. But they're going to announce their divorce on one of these, at one of these toxic holiday gatherings. I'm assuming they're going to make it. 
I'm assuming. Um, wow. Let's see if I hear anything else. Oh, God. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> And someone sleeping with their best friend is about to be revealed at one of these toxic holiday gatherings, too. In an unexpected way. Oh, my God. And someone, oh, my God. Can I be a fly on the wall for one of these shindigs? Just saying, just saying. I don't actually want to sit around with these crazy asses, but I'd love to be a fly on the wall. Damn. So, see, yeah, no, I don't want no damn body. I just want to sit around and just say, what the fuck? Just saying. I don't actually want to be a part of this shit. This is a hot ass motherfucking express. So I heard, uh, God. So I heard, um, at one of these, either on the 24th or the 26th, um, somebody's sleeping with somebody's best friend. And that's about to come out too. But I heard it's going to come out in a very unexpected way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Can I be a fly on the wall for this shit? Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys. Namaste.